Hello, hello, welcome, welcome to Mommy Moves. All right, so this Tuesday, we're this on this day of your life, this Tuesday of your life, we are gonna do something that I absolutely am focused on with hypervigilance in my life right now. As a, a mom of two toddler boys, I'm constantly finding myself in some type of twisted hip lateral movement, some type of like compromised position. I constantly find myself there either because my mind's wandering and I start to slouch or I'm nervous about things and I start to slouch or thinking preoccupied about something with the kids, I start to slouch, right? And so everything's starting to get, because of what's happening in our mommy minds, we are feeling the extent of it in this outward plane, this um, exterior universe that we're feeling, we're seeing the extent of it in the, in this body. Okay. So I want to help you if you feel that way, like, oh, I'm constantly, you know, doing something that hurts or whatever. Um, or I'm not getting a good night's sleep because I can't rest my body. All these things kind of just mount up. If you're feeling this too, you're going to love what we do today. Okay. And we're going to be quick because I want you to know that you can access this, this movement, this corrective, I hate to use that word, but corrective realigning movement to bring back the stability of your base here in your hips. The base for everything above it sits on your hips. Okay. And we talked a lot about core strength. We talked about it in videos past. So please look at that too, because this is all what we want to be kind of conscious of after giving birth and moving into our lives with young kiddos running around everywhere. So we're, think of ourselves, we're going to imagine the only thing you need is a, a chair. So maybe get by one if you need that. You know me, I love a balance challenge. So we're going to be doing stuff on one leg. Um, and I'll just, I'll try to focus on balancing in that. Otherwise you've got this option, right? Wherever you are, however you need to be, because I do this against a countertop, against the stove while I'm cooking, uh, maybe as I'm folding, you know, folding laundry or putting laundry in and out of the washing dryer, then it's like, you know, I can do these things. So I want I want you to know it's very accessible, but this is really the only prop you'll need if, if at all. Um, okay, so imagine we're in a box, a, a room, four corners, right, four walls, and we're boxed in there, and our hips are just nice and nestled right into that square. So the front of the hips is parallel to the front wall, sides of the hips, same, parallel, right, parallel to the back wall. So everything just kind of sits snug into this box, like we're wearing the box, and it, whatever happens, the box kind of, actually, no, don't think of it that way, sorry. We're not wearing the box. That's going to confuse you later. So just think we're standing in a room and so you're feeling supported by this exterior around you. And so um, stand in that way. Same thing with the feet, parallel, perpendicular, that kind of thing to the front wall. Um, make sure that you feel that base in this box. Okay. So from here, we're going to lift, we're going to have our steady right foot planted into the floor so that we can lift our right leg up or sorry left leg up bend the knee just slightly point, keep the toes pointed straight to the front wall and just open out open out so it's going to look like this okay so slight bend in that in that left leg and up and out we go again grab it just just to put the attention on that leg. So if you need the support of something near you, do that. Um, if it's easy, you know, the balance of it, do that. If you fall, you know, if you kind of catch yourself, that's fine. Okay, so last three here. One, two, three. Now stand with feet parallel. We're back in our box. Now straight off to the side, the left leg lifts. Okay, so feel what that's feeling, what, what that's doing. We're literally getting kind of a nice little, I don't know, band of attention, awareness, muscle, strengthening um, as, in this like psoas y kind of area. But really, we're targeting the hip muscles and the, um, the deep six glutes. 
So the glute, you're gonna feel final three here. Three, two, one, and stay right here and just point the toe out to the front corner of the room, so 45 degree angle, and go out again. Now you feel a different part of the hip and the, the glute fire, right? But it's deep in there. It's getting, it's kind of like re-engaging the muscles that are really responsible for holding, bringing our, our, bar, our body kind of back to center after birth, birth and um, we're also like creating that stable base um, for all of what happens in our upper body, being moms, moving about in the world. Final three here, two, one. And now you can drop the foot just to get back realigned into our four corner room, four walled room, square box. And we're gonna take the foot, feet are, parallel, feet are facing forward, um, take the foot to a, the leg, the leg as one unit with the feet facing forward to the back corner of the room. And then we do our lifts here. Make sure you're breathing, make sure you're focusing on, and just stay here. Do as many as you need. We're going a little bit longer, but if you just did eight on each of these stations, perfectly fine. Last three here, two one and come back to your base your neutral base because this is our neutral like foundation and anything from here is a la is lateral movement so whatever we do outside of this square is lateral movement and and we need to come back to this square more often and, and we don't i i've noticed i don't so i can imagine with everything you do how you know as a mom like me um, how, how little effort to come back to center we do, especially in the beginning, because it doesn't feel like there's time. This is, this is a representation of us doing that. Okay. So, but, or rather, uh, legs straight to the back, feet forward, straight to the back, straight to the back, simple. And feel that like glute just really get super strong. Breathe into that. Final three, two, one. Okay, we're done on that side. Yay, so now it's just about the right side. We had that firmed up leg standing tall for us. Um, now we switch, the leg is standing, the left leg is standing firm and tall. And we start with the right knee bent just slightly, feet forward and to the side. Remember, tall, tall torso. So get out from, I just caught myself, kind of this compacted vertebrae where, um, vertebrae where you're like, just, you want to like an accordion, expand your spine. So don't forget that. Final three, two, one, and back to center just to get the legs straight, everything straight. Take as a unit this whole leg and this foot out to the side. Feet face forward. Breathe. Hydrate at any point in this. Remember your chair. Keep a long, strong, stable base so that we're feeling supported in the hip still. Final three, two, one. Come back to center just so that you can get that, that back corner in, in your mind's eye. So we're back in our box. 45 degree angle to the back. Push, push. Just drills. We're just drills, drilling that muscle. Remember, eight on each little station should be good. Just make sure you're focused on that glute firing. Final three, two, one. Even your heart is probably like, whew, okay. Blood's pumping, blood's moving. Now back to our neutral everything. Uh, foot straight to the back. So it's kind of, it's flexed. The foot is flexed in the back. Maintain neutral hips, don't fall to one side. Don't find yourself kind of doing this. Stay straight up and shoot your leg back. Heel goes straight to the back wall with intention, with power. Final three, two, one. 
and we're done. Yay. So how did that feel? Let's do a little bit of a stretch, a quick stretch. So still, you're still at the washing machine. You're still at the sink. You're still at the oven, whatever, cooking. Now, or the fridge, you just, we're in our box, square, neutral. Reach up with your left hand, up and over. And we're just opening that left side. And then same to the other side. Reach up and over. So if this calls to you, these types of mommy moves and this type of like inner awareness, inner guidance, inner knowing, then um, understanding, inner understanding of our bodies, our, the inner workings of it, um, then you'll love our my mommy, clean up your mommy mind is basically my mommy mind series that's coming up next week. I'll show you how to get it. So stay tuned for that. Um, but free, just come on with me. Let's chat. Um, talk to me about everything you're kind of dealing with and going through and where you might need help, clarity, a way through. Um, we'll talk all about that so that you can really create the life you love as a mother, as a homemaker, as a human, as business owner, as right, all the things. So you're not just a mother. What else, right, needs your attention now, right? Now that you feel maybe ready or called or Feel that inkling and that gut kind of pull like, okay, now it's time to, to move a little bit in this direction too. You know, don't neglect this part of you. Feel that nudge. That's the moment to strike. That's the moment to start to just inquire and get curious about what you want in life and, okay, what's this new direction for me? Instead of wallowing in identity crisis and imposter syndrome and in comparison syndrome of all the mommies out there that aren't you and how they do better, you know, instead of wallowing there, get right about your center, your path, right? Your, where you want to be, your vision. So that's what we're going to talk about. Get out of your own way. Final stretch here, reach up. And forward fold. Slowly swan dive to the floor. Let your head hang long. Hang heavy, long neck. I have bent knees. The weight comes to the ball mount of your feet here. You're not in your heels. Just do what you need to kind of open that up, that area of the hips, the low back, back of the legs. And halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, forward, forward fold. And then inhale, rise, mountain pose, Tadasana, hands down by your side, or we're done. Okay, peace.